I just finished reading, um, or was sort of scanning, I read it very, very quickly because I was eager to see what was there. Um, my old friend Blair Tyndall's uh, memoir called Mozart in the Jungle. And because we both attended uh, a couple of the same music schools, I thought it was very interesting in terms of um, her being a non-Aspie and my being an Aspie, um, the contrast of our experiences, because the kinds of things that happened to Blair never would have happened to me. I mean, I barely noticed any of the sex that was going on. And if it was, I wouldn't have had the slightest idea of how to approach it. And I didn't understand the drugs particularly. I mean, I, you know, tried a little hot ones, but it made me feel really paranoid and awful. Um, so I was like, well, why would anybody be doing that? And, you know, as an Aspie, I didn't feel any pressure to continue with anything like that because I didn't belong to anything. And I suppose, you know, a lot of the people there, uh, actually, a uh, part of her book deals with uh, one music school that we were at initially um, in the South, and then the rest uh, in New York City. Um, so um, harking back to the music, music school in the South, there were, I guess there were a lot of social events that were going on on the campus that I had no awareness of because I was assiduously avoiding them. And people must have been like somehow meeting up and hooking up and doing all this stuff at these events. Um, I'm not really sure how they were doing it. I don't know. I was busy practicing. I didn't have really a clue. I mean, I felt kind of like, well, you know, it would, I, you know, I kept getting those crushes and I was like, well, I, you know, I wish I had, you know, a boyfriend or something. But I mean, you know, even at that point, I wouldn't have had the slightest idea what to do with a boyfriend. Um, it was all, you know, some big romantic notion to me. So, um, it's, it's just quite interesting and very, um, revelatory to read her memoir. Um, and this memoir has now been, um, sort of, uh, taken and made into, uh, Mozart in the Jungle, a series on Amazon. And, uh, I'm looking forward to watching that. I think that's going to be really fun. I've heard that, you know, it has like an all-star cast and it's going to be, well, it's actually, I mean, I shouldn't say it's going to be, it already exists. Um, all-star cast and just really funny and really interesting. Um, so anyway, check it out. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye for now.